Montvale Baptist Church devotional for this Wednesday, April the 29th, the year of our Lord 2020, Matthew thirteen thirty one. Another parable he put forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a grain of mustard seed, which a man took and sowed in his field. The Bible says in our passage that heaven is like a grain of mustard seed, which a man took and sowed in his field, which indeed is the least of all seeds. When it is grown, it is the greatest among herbs, and becometh a tree, so that the birds of the air come and lodge in the branches thereof. Telling people about heaven should be easy and exciting to us, even though it seems like a small thing. In the end, it is the greatest thing that we can do. In Mark 4, 30 and 31, the Bible says, And he said, Whereunto shall we liken the kingdom of God? Or with what comparison shall we compare it? It is like a grain of mustard seed, which, when it is sown in the earth, is less than all seeds that be in the earth. Our job as Christians is to help people to see Jesus Christ came to save the world and how much we need him to be our Savior and Lord. We cannot save anyone. Our job is not to ask how or why, but just to know in faith God can. Mark four twenty six and 27, And he said, So is the kingdom of God, as if a man should cast a seed into the ground, and should sleep and rise night and day, and the seed should spring up and grow up. He knoweth not how, that he is man, but God does know how, because he created all. The next time you see mustard, or even yellow, think about the mustard seed and how small it is, but how great it is. Tell someone about heaven, and how they might choose to go there through Jesus Christ. <laughs> Never look at a mustard the same way again. Our Heavenly Father, it is a small thing for us to simply tell people about the glory of heaven. And of course, the most important thing is to tell them how to get there. And Lord, we know the only way to get there is through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I pray, Lord, that we would have the faith and the strength and the courage to do just that. So Lord, help us to be great witnesses for you in these coming days. For we do pray in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen.